seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Starlink. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, F9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base at 8.57 p.m. Pacific Time. And the next major milestone coming up is Max-Q, which is when the vehicle Power experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. As you just heard, Falcon 9 is traveling supersonically, meaning it is going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there you just heard the call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses that it will see during its flight today. And we are about one minute away from a series of events being MECO, stage separation, SCS-1, and fairing separation. MECO stands for main engine cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. And during stage separation, pneumatic pushers will separate the first and second stages, and the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin vacuum engine, making second engine start one to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. And shortly after, the fairing halves will separate and fall away from the vehicle to later be recovered. And let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession, about 20 seconds from now. Miko. Stage separation. In back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, stage step, and SCS-1. Fairing one. separation. We also just had confirmation of successful fairing deployment. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel Go Beyond. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven and flying for their sixth, sixth time tonight. And the next major milestone coming up is entry burn on the first stage, which is one of the two burns it'll go through to prepare for landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. There you heard that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. And currently the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, of course I still love you. And the MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last for about another five minutes. And on the left side of your screen, we have some super faint views of our first stage as it's making its way back to land. And on the right side, we have our MVAC engine, which is performing as expected. Both 
vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 54th mission just this year and 253rd mission overall. An entry burn on the first stage will be coming up in a few minutes from now. Stages are on a nominal trajectory. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. Both vehicles following a nominal trajectory. In addition to our live use of the MVAC engine on the second stage, we also have live telemetry for our first stage with altitude and speed being shown in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And the 15 satellites on tonight's mission will join the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over a million people around the planet. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's stage a call-out. FTS has saved. There's a call-out for stage one entry burn startup. And the stage one, which we also call the booster, has now ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And you just heard the call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And coming up next will be SECO, or second engine cutoff, where the MVAC engine on our second stage is shut down. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Where the second stage is shut down and the Starlink satellites enter their planned orbits. Stage one transonic. Seco. And we heard the call out we were waiting for for Seco one. We're now waiting for confirmation of nominal orbital insertion. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on Nominal our drone ship. Insertion. Landing led deploy. <laughs> stage one landing confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for its fifth time. 
and we also have confirmation of nominal orbital insertion for our 15 Starlink satellites. And today's landing marks our 215th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of second engine cutoff and first stage landing, that wraps up our coverage for now. And as a note, due to the lack of ground station coverage at the time of payload deploy, we likely won't be able to confirm until a bit later. So if you're interested, check out the SpaceX social media accounts for updates. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again soon.